Hello, and welcome to tonight's homework help for Wednesday night, January 16th, 2013. We're going to go ahead and jump right in with using proportions. Uh, proportion describes two or more equivalent ratios. Set up and solve a proportion for each. Four cans of pineapple chunks are on sale for $2. How many cans of pineapples can you buy with $20? Okay, well, we're comparing cans to dollars. So $2, you can buy uh, four cans, according to our, our word problem here. It says four cans are on sale for $2. How many cans of pineapple can you buy with $20? So uh, we set up a proportion. First, we're going to write what we're comparing to what, so cans to dollars we have four cans to every two dollars uh, and then they tell us how many how many cans can we buy so we use the variable c for cans uh, with twenty dollars so notice the two dollars and the twenty dollars are on the bottom with dollars the cans four and our unknown amount c are on the top with cans so uh, if we cross multiply um, we get two times c is two c equals four times twenty is eighty so we get 2c equals 80. And that's a one-step equation. Uh, to solve that, then we want to get c all alone. So we want to get rid of the 2 that's attached by multiplication. So we divide both sides by 2. Because it is an equation, we have to be fair and divide both sides by 2. Uh, when we do that, the 2's cancel to a 1. 1 times c is c. On the, uh, on the right side, we have 80 divided by 2. Half of 80 is 40, so we can buy 40 cans. Okay, That's the example that's presented there. I'll go ahead and do another one. Um, let's see here. This one is pretty tricky. So uh, David read 40 pages of a book in 50 minutes. How many pages should he be able to read in one hour? Okay. Notice that the rate here that they give us is in minutes, but then... How many pages should he be able to read in one hour? That's in hours. So we're going to actually have to convert and remember that one hour equals 60 minutes. So we're going to actually use the 60 part instead of the one hour. Um, a lot of people might get confused and just use a one, and that won't turn out right. Um, anyways, let's um, go ahead and solve this. So we're uh, comparing uh, pages to minutes. So we'll write our, our word ratio first, pages to minutes. And then uh, we're comparing uh, 40 pages in 50 minutes. And set that equal to uh, uh, an unknown amount of pages. So we'll use a variable p in one hour. Well, one hour is 60 minutes. So we need to keep that as a 60 and not as a 1. Otherwise, this won't come out right. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and cross multiply. So um, we're going to multiply those together and we get uh, 50 times P uh, equals 40 times 60. Well, I know that 4 times 6 is 24 and then I just add the two zeros. So that'll be 2,400. Uh, and then I want to get my variable P all alone. So I'm going to divide both sides by 50. Uh, to solve this one-step equation. Uh, dividing by 50 on this side will cause the 50s to cancel to a 1. 1 times p will leave me with a p all alone. And then on the right side, we divide 2,400 by 50. Well, 50 and 2,400 are both divisible by 10, so I can cross out those ending zeros. So this is the same as 5 into 240. Um, so I know that 5 goes into 120 times, so 5 goes into 240 times, and 5 goes into eight, uh, 48 times, so it should be 48, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, apparently uh, in one hour, uh, David should be able to read 48 pages. Okay, So this is how we do these problems. Be sure and always set up the word ratio, and then set up your proportion correctly. So I have pages and pages on top. I have minutes and minutes on the bottom. Notice this question asked us about an hour, so I converted it to 60 minutes, so we had everything in terms of minutes. We cross-multiplied, solved for our variable, and got our answer 48 pages. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the other side. Okay, and here we are with uh, Grandpa's Knitting Day 2, and this actually is Day 2 this time. Um, okay, uh, John's grandfather enjoys knitting. He can knit a scarf 30 inches long in 10 hours. He always knits 2 hours each day. 
let's go ahead and look at some of these questions here. So um, we've got, uh, let's see here, how many inches long will the scarf be at the end of two days? So we have to figure out if he knits for two hours each day, uh, and he knits at a rate of 30 inches long in 10 hours, um, we need to figure out how long the scarf will be after two days. Well, uh, two days he should have knit four hours worth. So we're going to compare four hours to um, uh, an unknown amount of uh, inches as uh, 10 hours is to 30 inches. Uh, we can cross multiply those and solve and get our answer of how many inches uh, the scarf will be at the end of two days. Uh, number two, how many hours will it take Grandpa to knit a scarf 27 inches long? So um, using this information, we should be able to calculate um, if we know how many inches he uh, knits in 10 hours, we should be able to figure out how many inches he knits in one hour and then multiply that by, um, uh, multiply the inches per hour until we can get to 27, and that'll tell us how many hours we have. So we'll write our reasoning here and we'll write our answer here. Okay, uh, if you have any further questions or need any other help, please feel free to text either Mr. Supper or myself. Good night, good luck, and go Bears! Rawr!